Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and we are talking about X-ray tutorials. As a part of our previous tutorial, we tried understanding the test set. Now it's time for us to step into the last issue type of our X-ray, which is test plan. A test plan, as mentioned earlier, is a kind of container where you can contain different issue types under X-ray under one umbrella. So as in Jira, when we have Epic and all the issue types and tasks and subtasks can be mapped under Epic to showcase that what exactly is the effort team is putting in order to complete this Epic. Similarly, test plan acts as a parent container for the test artifacts and all the test, all the test executions, all the test sets and preconditions can be tagged to a respective test plan. Now this test plan can be named on a sprint level where you can put all the artifacts under that or maybe for a release level or maybe for any particular versions which you are creating or talking about, right? So today we'll be understanding how to create a test plan and how to manage all the artifacts of a particular cycle under the test plan directly and how this can be very useful for us in terms of several other prospects. So let's quickly create a test plan and map all our artifacts so far under the test plan itself. So as a part of this tutorial, we'll be trying to understand how to make use of test plan in X-Ray. What are, the, what are the steps involved in creating a test plan and at the same time adding different artifacts into the test plan and uh, using a test plan to reflect the details which can be required by anyone at any point of time. Well, it's just the process of creating a test plan which is just like any other test items which you have created in past. If you remember, we created test uh, we created uh, preconditions, test executions, test set, and we tried understanding how these can be utilized as a part of the test management. Now it's time for us to quickly create a test plan and see what's the benefits of having a test plan. So let's get started with creating a test plan and understanding uh, what are the steps involved in doing so. And it's pretty much the same. It's just a, another issue type of X-ray where you just pick up the test plan but it's more of like a superset of everything and could be used as a parent just like an epic in your project and uh, can be used to submerge things together which you want to see at any point of time right so click on the test plan here and define say for example uh, test plan uh, for probably like sprint one so say for example I want to accumulate all my test right uh, for the sprint one under a particular umbrella and I want to put them in one particular place so whenever I clicked on this particular test plan I would see all the tests which we executed in the sprint one similarly test plan can be created for sprint two sprint three sprint four and so on sometime you do test plan uh, creations based on the releases or based on the type of execution or level of test so this is up to you where and where how you want to use the test plan and it's not like uh, you can use one at a time you can use multiple test plans for example in my project I can use test plan for sprint wise management of test I can use test plan for unit testing integration testing and system testing and uh, several other things like you know a particular release as well or maybe regression test suite so it's all about uh, mapping your test under a test plan to get them together that's it so let's create a quick uh, test plan for the sprint one and click on create now once it is created it will be uh, listed here and uh, you can just go ahead and click on view issue or you can just type in the ID of that item and uh, once it opens all you have to do is link the artifacts here and the uh, view will be giving you all that provisions to do it uh, within the window itself right you don't have to jump into any other settings any other interface right here under the test plan so if you see this issue type is a test plan which we have created and uh, we will be trying to map now if you see there are two options which you can map together number one is tests or even the test execution right so say for example in sprint one I had several tests now let me add those tests here like I can call from the test sets or I can call from the test execute uh, existing test as well so let me click on existing tests and add some of the tests here uh, for example mp15 and mp16 so just assuming that these are the two tests which we executed in sprint one and I click on add selected 
right? And I also perform some executions of these tests, so I would like to link them also to this plan. And I would swap to the test execution tab and click on add test executions. And uh, here again, I would be having two test executions. So let us say, uh, you know, MP MTP20 is what uh, we executed as a part of the sprint one. And I'm done, right? So now if I jump into the test, I see the test here where it says like, okay, there are three tests which you did as a part of it, uh, where are like, you know, three items uh, out of which two are to do and one is pass. And when it comes to the test execution, I can see that uh, there's a test execution which has three tests in which again like one pass to do and the other three are sorry other two are yet to do so it, it will just pull up things together now at the same time say for example I want to uh, even create a unit test right so I would just pick up the test plan and say unit tests uh, testing test plan right the test plan which contains all the unit tests in my uh, project so here there's no kind of you know if you have used this particular uh, test in any other test plan or something it could be a part of my sprint one but it could also be a unit test right so they will not prompt you at any point that okay this is already a part of a test plan or something no you can just keep putting them all together in a segregated way so as you understand that a test is executed in sprint one but it can also be a unit test or it can also be a part of a regression test suite right so creating three different plan but can have the same test as a part of it. So this is my unit test plan, which is again empty. And if I want, I can add uh, directly test from the test sets. And you know, this is the next thing which you can do. So MTP21, and I'll pull out all the tests once for all. So again, it's up to you what tests you want to add. And here we see that all the three tests are yet to do. And if there have been any executions, you can show the results from here. So it's up to you what you want to pull in. So I'll again pull in the MTP22 here and add selected. And uh, yep, that's the status which is yet to be executed. We did not execute the MTP22. But you may say that, or uh, can I add something which has already been added to the previous test plan? Oh yeah, sure. So just click on add test, go for existing test, and let's add the uh, all tests which we have. To be frank, the uh, test set is actually having all these three tests itself. So if I add more, it just gets superimposed because uh, the same test has been added into the uh, the other test set, right? So no tests were added to this test plan because it's just overwriting the same thing, right? So if you have got more, so now if you see uh, this is what the unit test plan is having these three tests. If I jump into the MTP23, so MTP23, which is my test plan for the sprint one, and uh, I would still see the same details here as well. So it's just not going to remove things from there. It's just that it is going to have two different collectors of for different tests, right? And uh, here I see the details accordingly. So test plan is just an umbrella which contains all that information uh, which you want to see at one place, segregated, right? Segregated, and it shows me the status, in fact, that how many tests have been executed or what are the executions you have performed. So you can use test plan for any such reasons. And even another point to remember is test plan is something which can be used as a part of the reporting gadgets. When it comes to reportings and dashboard, I'll show you how a test plan ID will be something unique for you to showcase all the uh, matrices and statistics of how exactly you're progressing with your testing work, right? So I want uh, all of you to give it a try and uh, let us know if you have any questions so that's all from this particular tutorial team we'll be getting back to you with more interesting tutorials should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning